knew what your role was going to be coming into it. Now you're counting on as one of the guys. Any emotions any different going into this? Uh, there's no difference. Still out to prove myself. Uh, still out to be the best me. Uh, still just want to win games. That's pretty much it. Uh, just want to be the best teammate possible, the best leader possible. And then if I do my job, my teammates do their job, everything's going to go where it's supposed to be. We heard about it in the spring. You've seen it up close every day. Uh, how fast can this defense be? How fast do you think you guys will be going to sack with it? Um, I'd say one of the fastest defenses in the country. Uh, literally fly around. Um, Man, the speed is crazy. From not even just from the, the secondary, going down in the linebackers, going down in the D line. They got they put up some high numbers on the GPS. But honestly, we play sound and technique football. I don't think we're gonna have to use our speed too much. Um, just play the game and do what we got to do to get a W. How much are the coaches kind of just stressing mistake-free football this week? Just um, they're not really stressing mistake-free football. More than just um, just just continue to better ourselves. Uh, don't take any steps backwards keep taking steps forward so that we can continue to improve. Um, but as a whole, uh, we've done that every day. Uh, we come out here and compete against each other, expect to compete against each other. And like I said, like the offense knows that every day that they line up against us, they better come with their A game, but we're going to embarrass you. The same thing with them. They don't, we don't come out with our A game, they're going to embarrass us. And you don't want to get embarrassed at practice. Earlier this week, um, Coach Stoops said these MAC teams are not someone you can just go in there and walk right. all over. Um, going into this game, as one of the leaders of the defense, what is y'all's mindset going into it? Our mindset is just to play hard, fast, and physical from the jump. Um, don't come out lax and wait for them to bring it to us and for us to respond. Just bring it to them and have them respond off our uh, our energy and our level of play. Um, don't play down our competition. Um, execute, do the things we need to do to walk out with a W. With the season being three days away, um, fall camp pretty much being over, what are some things that you've seen from the fall camp, maybe from uh, um, other deep backs yourself? What are something? What's something that stood out to you this camp? Uh, what I would say is that the plays that everybody's made, it hasn't been just one guy. Everybody makes splash plays. Everybody's been doing good things. Um, we've all gone. I think where we've taken a step is um, watching film together, just communicating what we see, uh, talking each other through plays instead of just going out there blind and just playing and then talking after. We're actually talking before the snap. Hey, look out for this. Um, if we get a motion check to this, it's the small things. Speaking of film, Coach said they run some intricate stuff. Right. Has it been challenging watching the video, trying to figure out what's what? Um, I can say that uh, just watching the film, if you do your time and you actually watch the film and watch what you're supposed to watch, everything should um, should pan out to be the same thing that the coaches are handing down to us. Uh, but like I said, if, you, if you're not watching your film, if you're not studying, it's going to show. Yeah. Tiny is a guy who gets up, up close to you and tripping the ball in front of you. There. How does that athleticism make her so much translate to him? It's crazy to see because, like, I've been around a, a lot of, like, athletic people, different people in my life, but I can say, like, I've never seen anybody that size and that weight move the way they move, like, from speed, uh, jumping, uh, just pure explosion. It's crazy to watch, man. Like I said, they would have put him on a list of freaks. Man, <laughs> if he ain't the freakiest one, I don't know who is. For real. <laughs> Sam, when you're on the field, you're concentrated on your job and, and the defense, but is there a guy from your offensive team that you're most eager to see how they... Oh, Anthony Brown. Mm -hmm. Like, by far. No Anthony, hesitation. No, no hesitation. Anthony Brown. Like, A.B. is going to be special. Like, from the day from the day one, he walked in here early in the spring, um, just moving like a vet. Um, he lifts at 630. He's coming to watch us lift at 815. Um, He's doing the extra stuff, catching extra passes, running extra routes, watching extra film. He's up there by himself as a freshman watching film. Like, that's something you don't see. Um, and then just coming to the field, the stuff I see him do on the field is crazy. Like, his twitchiness, his speed, is something that teams don't have to look out for. It's not just going to be Dane, Berrion, and, and Tavion. It's going to be A.B., DeKell. It's gonna, they, they're pretty deep at that position. But I say Anthony Brown, man, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Everybody good?